Yes. Uh, so what we are going to do instead, while I work on that, is go back to the casino passport so that I can look at the pictures that we got there, as well as go over a couple of the things that I purchased out of that uh, in terms of the accessories that I purchased. Let's see if I can remember which ones they were. Actually, the easier way for me to do this would be to go through the skills. Because they will show up bright white for me. There we go. So we got the hunter goggles from the drill passport. You can take the critical hit 5% up out of that. Uh, we got the Amato belt, which I think I have gone over before. Increases your max HP 15%. Uh, then we got the golden dice. It fluctuates damage to pain on HP. Now this one, I wish I understood, but I honestly don't and I can't find anybody that does. Uh, I can't determine whether or not it is def or damage that you do or damage that you receive. It fluctuates it wildly. I tried uh, doing some level grinding with Chion equipped with a golden dice, and as far as I could tell, it really only affected the damage that was being done to her. But once again, this is based purely on speculation because I have no numbers to back this up. So it looks like it would affect how much damage she was being dealt per attack. It was sometimes really low. Like, I think there were some points when it was down uh, a little bit over 50%. And then there were some times when it was up over 50%. And I died because it's a, an attack that usually does about 600 to 700 damage suddenly did 1,200 out of nowhere. So I would not recommend these, but that's just based on my personal experience with it. I have, once again, no numbers to back that up because nobody knows. And then, oh, I have somebody equipped with it. There is the, where is it? Junior has it, I bet. He does. The Brave Soul. Uh, it increases, increases your strength as your HP goes down. So if you really want to overpower Junior, because Junior is going to be your best bet for this, uh, what you're going to want to do is give him a Hemlock, and then that ups his strength you know, pretty much as high as it will go with the Brave Soul. And then doing that, you can do massive amounts of damage with a physical attack, and that is important. It has to be a physical attack. If you try to do an ether attack, you'll wonder why it does not work. But that is pretty much it for the items that I can, well, sorry, the skills that I can get off of what I got in the casino passport, but that was not the only thing that you could purchase in there. There are also the cards, but we'll go over those when we get to the cards. Right now, we want to look at pictures. First, we have Xion number one. We can zoom in on it, and we can scroll and check her out. I can't go left or right, so I can only look her up and down. She's got some, some pretty good legs. I must say, they're kind of powerful. Okay, Xion number two. Uh, once again, I, oh, no, can't go left or right, just up and down. Yeah, they give her some powerful legs. That is constant throughout. I don't understand what that Japanese scribbling means. I won't bother reading this uh, every time, but she doesn't have her choker in this one. Uh, we have all the facial expressions of Shion here. Uh, she always had the eyeglasses, which does not surprise me. Here I should be able to go yeah, left to right a bit so we can take a look at everything that they had designed from the beginning. And we have the artist's signature there. That's what I would assume that is. Looking looking very nice, Xion, from the beginning. Next up is Chaos. The gloves are Chaos's trademark? Sure, why not? It's all about the gloves. Not about the short shorts or how the gloves match his boots and his Pauldrons? I mean, what what is he wearing? He's wearing a mantle? I don't know what that is now that I think about it, but he is wearing that. Now we have facial expressions. This is this looks like it's pretty early on. We should have yeah, quite a few here. There he's happy. There's the back of his head. 
with his crazy that's what his hair looks like from the back that's nuts uh here we have kind of stoic chaos and here we have i don't want to say upset but definitely concerned chaos over here with his crazy hair up top i don't know this yeah he kind of does have that hair but wow that's what it looks like from the back that's not good full body designs of chaos here uh is that a gun that i see he's drawn a little bit slimmer than he usually is they said i'm not sure i see it yeah he's got a glove down here but then that looks like a pistol up there why has he got a gun he doesn't use guns next up we have junior this is pretty much the standard one uh, i've been using this in the intros quite a bit yeah i like it looks good then we have the early design choices for him we got well he always had the earring he's always got the, pretty much the same haircut uh, they went into pretty substantive detail about the the earring there it is hard for me to control this i apologize if it's a little jerky and you're missing a couple things but i mean that, that's as best as i can control it really they're not letting me do it with the d-pad it has to be the the stick which makes it a little more difficult and we have i don't know junior without his long coat zippers at the knees which is still kind of weird he has twin holsters on the back of his hip makes sense he looks a little upset here i don't like that expression on his face but he, he's still looking yeah, he's looking pretty solid there oh we have more junior apparently they like junior more than they did Xion and chaos more drawings we will be here for a while looking over pretty much his coat here that's the idea you know, even with the, the cross in the middle don't know what that design is on the back but it suits him well next up is momo this is her standard one once again i've been using this for the intros her nose is a little weird on it though next up is early momo obviously her air ornament her hair ornament design is from pre-production so they changed her hair hair ornaments whatever reason i can't say that but are you kidding me i'm just moving on they freaking drew a nipple why would you draw that why well, you didn't draw one on Xion, but sure enough there it is god god now i can't even look at the rest of the picture normally uh something that resembled a school uniform keep that in mind for later the costume design is rather intricate so once again these are early sketches i will go ahead and say now that uh, the, the character designs do change and vary quite drastically from this game in the in the other games you might not even be able to recognize them until i tell you who they are at points so just keep that in mind then we got cosmos standard this is what she looks like normally as you might imagine i'm not stomping on the garage on purpose i swear uh some early stuff from cosmos let's see what we got is there any way i can like get rid of this or not let me get rid of the bottom thing like at all i don't know why that is necessarily needed anymore some pretty early stuff she's pretty much always looked that way with the headband headband may have changed a little bit as as we've gone forward but it still looks pretty good uh, yeah it did change it is different from the final design they've only got two of cosmos that's weird uh next up is ziggy this is his standard this is what he looks like now this is his official drawing then we got some early ziggy his body design was not finalized yet, so his face is drawn slightly slimmer than it normally is. I'm not sure I can tell, but, you know, what do I know? He always had the same haircut, though, and the same stoic look on his face, just constantly in a state of not quite pissed off, but say one more thing at me. Ziggy number three is the, the first one that was created for full body that's what it looks like to me because it still looks pretty early in the, in the development as you can see though he is more android here than he is normally there's been a few more parts 
better mechanical there. Next up is Guinan, because we're not gonna just stick with the main characters. We gotta move on to the side characters. Some real detail on Guinan. I don't know how they always design the hair to make it look slightly different between people. I've never known. I'm not an artist at all. Not even close. So that's some Guinan. Here's some more Guinan. This is his debonair style. I uh, can't go left or right here, so there you go. That's guided. I wish I could, like, zoom out and see the whole picture, but they're not really giving that option to me. Here's the first Elsa. Uh, a combination of a swan, a fighter jet, and a race car. The oval parts on both sides contain an extraordinary secret. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, they're not letting me do anything else. Just looking around at it. I'm not sure... I know what they're talking about. And there was supposed to be a robot on top. Maybe that was just for scaling the eggs and a normal human standing there. And then I want to know what the secrets are in the ovals. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Early dis illustration of an eggs. The leg joint areas required a lot of trial and error to, due to their unique form. Okay, we'll look at the, the, the knee joints. Okay, that it makes sense to me, but then again, I am no engineer when it comes to robot construction. Next up is the cockpit. This is of an eggs. This was used kind of sparingly throughout this game. It will be used more in the other games, I can tell you that right now. An EMG signal sensitive gel fills the interior. This is sounding a lot like Ava. There's no other way for me to put it. It just sounds a lot like that. Uh, this is an early concept, I would assume, because I don't think this is the standard for what eggs are in the game, but you know, we never really saw inside an eggs. We saw inside other things, but not in eggs in particular. Next up is the v VX9000. Use The design concept was to use ex Exposed carbon fiber frames? Okay. I don't even really know what I'm looking at here. Okay, so those are the legs. Boom. And then what is this up here? I don't really see like a cockpit or anything, but there you go. VX9000. Then we have the AG04, which was barely used because the AIGS battle system was not up to par for me. So. Here you go. A lot of effort put into this guy, and I didn't really show him off nearly as much as I should have, probably. But there you go. I mean, a lot of detail. A lot of thought went into this. He's got wheels? I didn't even notice that. He's got wheels. And, like, two booster packs in the back. There you go. VX20,000. Uh, the image of a concept car. Well, I could see that up top. Not exactly sure how this would work, but you know, once again, not a structural engineer. Next up is the VX4000. Come up with a female type of eggs, and it was designed to be used as Momo's machine. But of course, Momo didn't get a standard machine in the game. So, there's that. Is that like a clock on the side? I don't know what makes this female. Looks like she's got like a cup on. And she's got four arms, but this is what they're saying. Oh, like high heels here at the bottom. Really small feet. That's how you know it's female, I guess. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Here's the AG05. This heavily armored model was designed for long range fire support. The cannon mounted on his back and supported by claws on both arms. So here is the AG05, the stocky tank of the eggs. Uh, that kind of was underwhelming for me at the end, but damn does it look good and stocky and huge, and damn is it expensive. Then we have a CG image of, of Xion computer graphics, in case you didn't know. She was created for a game expo. She was presented at the expo on a billboard over three meters tall. There you go. That's what she looks like when they fully render her out 
beyond the capabilities of a normal PlayStation 2. She looks pretty damn good. Cosmos CG. It was also created for a game expo. Yeah, it's usually stored in her right hip, as you might understand. So this is how they advertise the game, pretty much. This is, this is it right there. Doesn't that make you want to play the game? It does for me. And that is it for the artwork. And that is it for the prizes that we could have gotten in the Casino Passport. So with that done, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xeno Saga Episode 1. I'm Mala Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by my bonus squad of everybody. Especially Momo, who was on screen the whole time. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.